Greetings golfers from Duffer to Driver here, and I live in Canada, which unfortunately means that golf is only five to six months of the year. The rest of the year we have to deal with snow, which then begs the question, how does a high handicap golfer survive the winter? So here we are at the golf dome. Over on the right side, we have the outdoor driving range, which is currently closed. So we're gonna head inside. The golf dome is unique in that you don't pay for buckets of balls like most ranges. You actually pay by the hour. Now there isn't a lot of space in here. There's a lot of netting and I'm on the second floor, which doesn't help. So I'm going to be aiming all my shots right here around these lights. I'll consider any shots that go here a good shot. So let's see how we do with the 9-iron. So that one went dead straight, so let's see how we fare with the rest of them. Time to whip out the 6-iron and see how we do with this guy. Now let's see what we can do with my hybrid. So not that great with a hybrid, but now we're gonna try our three wood, which we rarely use. So this should be interesting. I'm starting to get a little tired. So now we're switching to driver to try to see if we can hit these guys straight. As you can see, the options during winter aren't great. This is one of them though. Not this, this is during the summer. They have an outdoor range, but that big dome is. Did all right, honestly, for someone who hasn't swung a golf club in a while. Goodbye, golf dome. Other than forgetting how to hold a golf club for the first couple of minutes, once I started swinging, it started to feel natural again. I wouldn't say it's like riding a bicycle, but it's definitely your muscle memory kind of kicks in. There's a bottom floor, which is better, but on the top floor, I mean, you're hitting the ceiling nets with almost all your shots. Really can't tell if you're slicing it or if you're not hitting it very far. The only things you have to go off of is feel, the sound, the initial direction. So I was setting up all my shots to kind of hit the lights. There's two lights that you'll see on the video that I was trying to hit it between so I know if it was going way right, then I was doing something wrong. Remember to like and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment on how you thought my swings were. I appreciate all of you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you out on the course. Hey, you! Hey, you! Yes. <laughs> okay.